I understand the anger of, of the black community. I understand we have been doing this for decades. The marches have not worked. The sit-ins have not worked. The legislature le legislation has failed us. The police department has failed us. The government, the people, everyone has failed us. We know not what to do in this circumstance between, besides burn, riot, and cr go crazy. I understand that. But this is the time right now for the black community to gather their voices and activate a smart and winning approach to the problem. N there, I, 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 I want to amend that. Go ahead. It's not just the black community. Oh. This is oh, everyone, and we're with you. Of every single we person. are, we are, we are with you. We are with you. We are marching alongside you. O Obama had a very, very well written and telling piece today that he he shared on social that basically said there are two parts of reform to the current police state in America or the current state of police. This is not a quote, but this is what I, I took from it. One is the mobilization of protests to raise awareness. And the other is voting and legislative reform to create systemic change. To those on the streets right now, gearing up for round 12, the mobilization has occurred. The awareness has happened. Everyone fucking knows. Everyone gets it. The entire world has, is standing in solidarity with you with their fists in the air saying enough is enough. What happened to George Floyd, what happened to Trayvon Martin, what happened all the way back to Rodney King is not okay. Let's work together to make a change. Your voice has been heard. But the National Guard is inbound. They are coming to your cities armed with M16s, body armor, tanks, per armored personnel car carriers. And because of the current administration, as far as the discussion of airborne infantry, to the makeshift rioters and people on the streets right now and even the peaceful protesters, that battle of might is one you will not win. I can sit here sure as shit and say that to you today. The opportunity that exists right now is for you to join your voices and to create a strategic strategy to vote and reform police state in America through local and state elections. Those are the people that choose your police chiefs that make your laws for your for your for the police in this country. We're going to stand right next to you. We're going to stand right next to you. But from a from a from a mobilization standpoint and a protesting standpoint, we have reached the end here. I truly believe and and now moving forward, it, it, it is violence the, and people getting hurt. The only reason why I'm not fully going against you is because uh we we plan on going to multiple protests today. And yeah, because no. of the National Guard, I believe they were all shut down or either the people were deterred. They are taking violent action. They are they are bullying protesters. I have a picture here. I'm sure you guys have seen it. These are the rubber bullets Oof. that the National Guard are actively shooting at people. Some of our friends have gotten shot with these. The, these are responsible for people losing their eyes. Pe people are are getting very severely injured because of this shit. And and what Mike's saying, I I, I think help me understand this is. Now it's time to go from the violence and the true like physical action to the action of, of voting and creating change in, 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 for politicians, and keeping the conversation, and, and policymakers. Well, that's the well, that's the real takeaway. We can make as much noise as we want right now. Yeah. But if all of this momentum is lost at the voting booth, we have fucking lost. Yeah.